Okay, so we're talking about direct awesome. to consumer, direct to fan today. I'm gonna show you how to incorporate your direct to fan songs into your Spotify player and playlists. Having a pretty limited reach and, and just kind of showing you guys what I'm doing. We've made more money off of this than we will probably having this song up on music platforms for like months, months and months and months. All right, Stefan's bringing this in perfectly. So we're talking about direct awesome. to consumer, direct to fan today. Thank you very much. So Say To Me is my new song and it doesn't come out on music platforms for a few days. And so I want to share with you my best methods as yes, I'm a music attorney, but I am first and foremost an independent artist. I've been doing music since I was four. This is my music producer. And so we thought we would share what we do for music marketing specifically, but then also how we were making money through the direct to fan model and it's already working mm. quite well so let me give you context and i don't want to say i took a year off it was not intentional but this is what happened a year ago i released my last single which is called monster it was an insane huge production for the music video i went above and beyond this song meant so much to me all this good stuff we released that and then a whole lot of life happened and i decided to focus on top music attorney and i'm so happy because we're creeping up on 100,000 subscribers it's been so amazing the channel was just growing so much yeah so all good stuff and also my law firm as you guys know i run a law firm we have lots of attorneys and so it's, it's been busy but i consider this to be the relaunch of my music career for a couple of reasons not only because we're coming back right but it's just a new kind of branding that i'm doing it's a whole new approach that i am taking to what I do. And I'm incorporating all the stuff that I've taught you guys, what has worked really well for me. So let me show you on the music marketing front to start. So this is just what I have done for the week leading up to the release of the song, which has been essentially like three days of posting. Okay. So let's start with this. Essentially with right here, all this stuff was like just maintenance, like just really just, hey, what's going on with my life? Little posts here and there, nothing, nothing real on point. When I decided to really start promoting this, this was the first post. So let me just show you over a weekend, I did one, two, three, four. I did these four posts. We moved and so I was unpacking, which is why you're gonna see the outfit ones. This is the first one. Very simple. I literally just used the TikTok app. Okay, that's it. So just for context of that, when I was making all this, you have to try to make as much content as humanly possible. So I go, as I'm literally getting ready for my day to go make the rest of the content, I documented it. I just set up my phone and then I'm lazy. I don't want to edit stuff later. So I put up TikTok and then I literally recorded it and then I paused it. I put it in the new angle. I recorded it again. So I literally recorded it in real time, if that makes sense. No editing. Again, I am trying to do posts to show my music without promoting it or shoving it down anyone's throat. So literally it was just like, hey, this is what I do to work out. That's it. That was one of my songs. Here's another one. This one did well. Okay. So this is Angels in the Valley. And this is my three most ugly outfits. <laughs> For context again, that was one of my songs, Angels in the Valley. And then I was literally unpacking. And so I just go, wow, these are like hideous. And so I got inspired. I go, let me show these hideous outfits that I will never wear because that would be a good video. And so then for just organic numbers, right? So that one got 23,000 um, views. Great. And then again, same day, rapid fire. I was just making these back to back to back. So this is cool. And these are just like different your V looks. I mean, who can't just like go get dressed? <laughs> Show some different outfits. And then I obviously did the actual promotion at the end for the song. So you do want to say your song at some point, but try to give someone something. Yeah, it's not about it's not about the song. I mean, it, it's it the whole entire point of the video is the song, but it's you're just making content with your song that you're not being overly 
spammy with it. And then the third one, again, this was everything I did in a burst on a Saturday. So here's the last one. I go, well, people well, like outfits. We have Halloween coming up. And also I can promote outfits that I wore in my music video to relate to the music video. So we did Holy Water again. So here's the Holy Water one. And I did three outfits. Three just seemed to be whatever. And this one did good. It almost got 20,000 views on it. So pick my Halloween costume. So one that everyone knows, this is from my Angels in the Valley music video, Evil Little Bo Peep. This is from my Holy Water music video, is what I wrote. All right, and that one did well as well. So, so again, for just this initial burst, it's get reminded that I make music. What does my music sound like? Have, you know, types of content that are kind of fun. It relates to what I was literally doing. And then that was it. A Music Attorney is your number one legal resource for artists, producers, and record labels. Get contract templates, one-on-one -on -one legal advice, free master classes, and everything you need for your music business. Go to tommusicattorney.com. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what we've literally done the last three days kind of leading up to it. So now we're in the week of the song actually coming out. And so what we did is we updated my website, which is misscrystal.com. And we made it so that people can go and actually get the song as a download. So let me show you what that looks like. So we have misscrystal.com forward slash say to me. It's very simple. You want to give people one option. <laughs> don't have a ton of links. Don't, don't confuse them. Don't do anything. The only additional thing one on this page action. is a video. Yeah, there's one video. And in this video, this is Say to Me. I wrote Say to Me about it. I give a little preview of why I care about the song, why I wrote it, all the good stuff. And then there's actually a 30 second preview. Let's listen to a second of it. <laughs> And then it only allowed us to go as minimal as a dollar. We couldn't set it any lower than that, but it's a pay what you want, okay? So, you know, for someone who cares about your music and maybe the song means something to them or makes them feel something, they have the option to give you something more. And what I can tell you is that, you know, again, for having a pretty limited reach and, and just kind of showing you guys what I'm doing right now, and we've just posted a few days, you know, we've made more money off of this than we will probably having this song up on music platforms for like months, months and months and months. And months. Now, I can tell you it works for someone, again, who does not have already kind of the audience in place to do this. And so it's exciting. And that's why I want to tell you guys to, to do this kind of thing, especially if you have an EP, especially if you have an album. This is a single. We kept it super simple. On the website, it's the player that you see. We just did it all within Wix. It was already included in our plan because we get analytics and stuff, depending on what plan that you get for Wix. And then it has a player and then they don't take a, a cut of your music for each one of your downloads. So it goes right in there. The analytics for it are really good. It's the first time that we've used the player for this. We'll let you know more of how it goes. When you do pay as you want, they want it a dollar because of the fact they need something to charge a credit card because you have to put a credit card in. So like that's the minimum that it can charge. But I mean, we've been getting like $10, $5, a lot of three, a lot of two, and then plenty of ones. But you would basically need roughly like 25,000 streams to get to like a hundred bucks. So, I mean, we're, we're already there. We're, we're already there. And it was not 25,000 people. So if you're talking about a strictly on earnings, yeah, I mean, it's already a success as far as compared to streaming. And that's with our very minimal reach that we kind of have right now as we're trying to build back up our algorithm again for it. So I think that that's incredible. And the song, you know, does come out in a few days and then that's going to get a whole new push and then music video and all that other kind of stuff. This is just for the people that kind of are coming in, just look and see your posts. This is people that we're just kind of letting know in an email list that are coming over. So just know that this is going to grow even more. And as you explain to people what you're doing, you're an independent artist, support independent music. It's great. And a lot of artists are doing this right now. Estero, one of my favorite singers in the world who she's did a direct to fans vinyl 
where she did a cover song and, and she put it on a 45 and she's selling it for like 40 bucks. And I mean, those things are just flying out the window. There's just a lot of opportunity with this. I mean, we saw Pharrell recently dropped his, you know, direct a fan. Of course, he wasn't selling. He was just collecting emails for it. I don't know, man. I love it. Curtis King is doing it a lot. My last recommendation when it comes to the music marketing piece is that some of the stuff that I'm trying, you know, for example, on this one, this is me literally telling people I'm a dark pop artist. So it's the same audio that we were just listening to. And it goes, so I heard you're into dark pop artists. This one did really well. But it's associating yourself with the genre and even artists, right? So this one that we did earlier today, it goes, posting this until I reach fans of The Pretty Reckless. So fans of The Pretty Reckless may like this song. And so this is, again, associating with the type of genre or bands that this might work for. This one, I did a transition. So I'm like, you know, kind of the more delicate feminine, pretty pop music. And then it goes into the transition of the song. Right. So making the association of dark pop with more of the dark look and all that. So just trying just tons of variety and even this one. Right. So literally just <laughs> not even doing this very good. But this was the first clip. OK, so just variety. There is there is absolutely no wrong way to do anything. It's just kind of challenging yourself to try to make as much as possible and then see what works. And the song isn't even out yet. And I've posted like, what, what do we go through? Seven different you know posts. I'm excited for you guys. I hope you love the song, of course. <laughs> and I appreciate the nice words. We have Ren Not Ren just checking in right here with, uh, I just bought a copy for $5. Hey, Thank, you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So when you get it, you pay what you want. It gets emailed. And then you download it and then I'm going to teach you, I'll probably cut in something here where I'm going to show you guys how to incorporate that into your Spotify library, whether it's on your phone or whether it's on your PC or your computer. So you don't necessarily have to open up a fresh player because you downloaded this MP3. There is ways that you can incorporate it into your Spotify playlists and your stuff like that. So I will cut in a video here where you can see that for the desktop, this couldn't be easier Just scroll up to your name, select settings, make sure that you have your library selected on here and you can either select your downloads if that's where you have your music or your music library, or you can add a source, which is what I do. Um, and then I take it down to my music and then I have a Spotify personal tracks. And in there you can see I have some songs or some random things in there click on that and then it recognize it. It just opened up your local files here. You can click on that. And as you can see, all the files that I had in there are now in my Spotify and you can right click on these. You could add them to any playlist that you want to. So super easy to do on your desktop and then on your phone. So I use a galaxy phone, but I assume this is the same for iPhones. You would again, just click on your profile picture hit settings and privacy, go down to apps and devices, and then you scroll to local audio files and you click that. Now the difference between this is that it's gonna pull all of your audio files that are on your phone as opposed to the desktop version where you can pick the folder that you want them to come from. But either way, now you have your songs all in Spotify. And what's cool about this is you can add your songs to your Spotify playlist. So if also if you're working on new demos and stuff, you can make playlists with other songs that are in the same genre and see how they sound next to those songs. When the user downloads it, the song themselves, then yeah, they can get FLAC or MP3. That's just the way that we went through the Wix player and how they do it. So you upload, I uploaded the wave and then they turn it into a FLAC or an MP3 file. So they do have that option. That that particular option doesn't give you the option to just do straight waves, which I was kind of disappointed in. But we're trying it and it seems to be working. We may try another service for our next single and then definitely for our EP. But we'll see how this goes. So far, I like the idea that they say that, you know, they're not taking anything from it. Like it, it's just like included in our package already. So if you're not, you know, in our package of the Wix package that we have. And we connect it to PayPal and then all credit cards. So it's an easy payment. So the website allowed us to the least amount that we could put is a dollar so that's why it does show a dollar but it is pay what you want if i could make it for free for anyone who just wanted it i honestly would yeah we were looking for we were looking for that option it's just the way that that particular platform is set up if you're going to get anything paid you have to set up it has to be a minimum of a dollar. Now there's other things we looked in to Bandcamp and doing that. And honestly, I think Bandcamp is cool. I've purchased stuff plenty of times off of Bandcamp for, of artists that I like, 
but I never really liked the actual interface personally, the aesthetic of it. I'm not really that into it. So, so we didn't go band camp this time. Maybe in the future we will. But Tyler, the creator has his new album coming out, which I'm super stoked for. We'll be talking about that more here in the future. I think we're going to have a, a video that we're going to be talking about that here soon, but just the rollout of, of these, he's doing a lot of pre bundles. Uh, we didn't do bundles on this with the song, but we will on the EP and the album. It's so smart to just, if they want to support you, let them support you. And we support you. That's why we do this channel. We love your faces. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Top Music Attorney. Peace.